Okay, buildthewalltv.com. I hope you can hear me over the uh, wind, but uh, please uh, go to buildthewalltv.com, watch our latest videos, subscribe, um, and also uh, please make a donation. Um, I gotta tell you, I've been sitting up here on the top of this mountain marveling at what this all is up here. And I'm gonna walk you through it right now. What you're looking at right here is a cartel scout mountain. So this is where the drug cartels play scouts and they scout the northern uh, corridor into the United States. You don't believe me? And when uh, Donald Trump says that it's happening, he's right. Okay, so let's start by looking down the mountain here. Okay, you see that monument right there? That's US Mexico monument. There's nothing there whatsoever to protect the country. That's a monument that marks the US and Mexico. Okay, so basically everything you're looking at here is Mexico. Now look at all those roads right there that deliver people to the border from Mexico. And what they do from there, I turn around here, I'm kind of on a top high rock, so I don't wanna fall. From that road right there, okay, they'll swing around the other side of this hill top, down into those valleys, and start making their way right up north there. You look at that ridge up there, right over on the other side of that, is about five miles to the I-10. Okay, let me show you something here. So in our last video, we were hiking a steep hillside, which was a drug uh, corridor. Uh, right down here you have, this is, this is a, a scout mountain for the cartel that allows them to see basically everything going on north of the border here and radio in to their mules uh, that are making their way through this valley north. That valley right there leads all the way to the United States, or all the way up to uh, Tucson, heading north right there. Okay, now, if you, so if you look down over here, you've got water bottles on the ground. Um, let's go ahead and, and then if you look over this way, okay, let's look down in this valley. Look at this. See those people trails coming out of Mexico? And then they work their way right down. Let's see here. Over into this area. People trails right there. Okay, and then I'm going to walk around here and show you what else you're going to see up here. I'll try to do as quick as I can. This is very rugged terrain. I don't want to hurt myself up here. There is nothing out here, folks. There's no border patrol. There's no police. There's no ambulance. There's no cell signal. There's no radio signal. You need a satellite phone if you get a problem out here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look down here. Um, you can see here... Uh, that's another high traffic trail. And then this leads right down into this valley here, right over here, and right on up in. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our way back over here. <laughs> so we were humping that, the side of that hill, which was a heavily trafficked drug mule uh, territory. Now look at, uh, let's cross down in through here and you'll see, oops, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I just dropped my phone. Okay, so you'll see, look at this. Here's places where people been hanging out, maybe sleeping. Um, I'm told that they do you know, shifts up here approximately a week at a time. Okay, got some, some more water bottles. Um, here we go. Okay, so these are all signs of what's going on up here. 
<laughs> now let's make our way around a little further down here to this side because when you scale up that steep mountain there you reach the top of this this is where the cartel sits and directs its uh, mules up in to the United States without encountering border patrol <coughs> Now, the border patrols out there, they're dispatched out of Tucson, two-hour drive each way. And we're so far down here into the border area, near the border, that they're just not down here. Okay, so now I'll walk over here and show you this right here. It gives you a better view of... The north here. Let's see, where was that? It's right over here. Oh yeah, look at this. So you can see here, this is a layup area for the spotters, for the drug cartels. Um, sit right here. Look at this bottle, it's got, it's covered with camouflage. Okay, make your way into here. And this bottle, and if you come and look right here, um, you can see you have a much better view of this northerly area leading to uh, Tucson. Okay, now let's look down in here. Um, this is where our vehicles are at, down there by that pond. That pond there is normally a water drop, but the water drop was covered by the pond. There's so much moisture. But look at the corridor right here. If you can see that, the trails leading all the way right down there to that lake and then to that road right there where vehicles are, are I mean, there's no mistaking, that is a heavily traveled road. And so when you look at this whole area in total, you can see that the mountains off to the west are very rugged. The mountains off to the east are impassable. Um, and there's a funnel corridor right there that everybody leads through. On the other side of that, it stretches out to a valley that leads into the I-10 corridor, and that's where they're going with the drugs. Now, according to the intelligence from the trackers, um, it's a five days in, rest one day, five days out. How do they know that? They have uh, uh, time-lapse cameras set up on the trails, motion sensor, and um, they uh, record the same people on those time frames. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be moving out here. The team is over there. You can see how hard it is to spot people. Okay, we'll bring uh, checking in on the next mountaintop, maybe. <laughs>